Hi guys, this is Ricky, and here is a quick little video showing off a couple new features with iNav 2.6. Um, one of them is being able to natively support SRXL2. Um, it's the protocol that Spectrum uses for um, bidirectional telemetry with some of the receivers. The receiver that I happen to have in this plane is a 4650, and here are some of the coolest things that you can do. First of all, if I enter into the menu, I'm going to go down to Features, and I'm going to go to VTX, and I'm going to change the channel from Raceband 8 to Raceband 5. So I'll go down to where it says Set. I'll confirm it, yes. And you can see that it changed the video transmitter. Well, if you have been around for a while, um, most of you guys have been able to do that for a while now. But here's where this changes a little bit. Since I have telemetry now, I have a whole bunch of data coming back from the receiver that's being sent to me. And one of them is this little iNav text generation menu. So watch, if I go from the left and pitch up, now I'm in the iNav menu on my radio. And I can go to where it says features. And I can go down to where it says VTX. And I am on channel 5, but I want to be on channel 8 because that's where my receiver is set to. I'm going to go set, and I'm going to confirm it. And now you'll see I am back, and I have my menu here, but I'm still in the iNev menu on my radio. So I can be working on the iNav menu in my radio, or I can jump into the iNav menu with my goggles. So that's one of the cool new features I think that we have with iNav 2.6 and its compatibility with XRXL2. Now some fantastic developers, one of them, his name is Miguel, um, he had his own custom build of iNav 2.4 and 2.5 that supported this feature, but 2.6 um, supports it right out of the box. Now, one thing to note is on my beta flight, I'm able to go into here where it says um, VTX setup, and I can go in here and I can change the frequency here and hit send. And like I said, it works on my beta flight, but it doesn't seem to work on this one. So I don't know if that's a bug or that that's something that um, is being developed or worked on. I know um, not a lot of people are using um, Spectrum receivers on their flight controller, um, but I am, and I think this works fantastic.